welcome back the last module was about the general structure of input and output file of orca in the present module we learn some advanced features available in orca things like what advanced settings were required to do in the input file to obtain informations regarding molecular vitals and how to use the visualizers such as avogadro for plotting the molecular orbitals let's first try to obtain the molecular orbitals of some simple diatomic molecules this page we saw in one of the theory lectures in module 2 where there was a detailed discussion on the energy level diagrams of simple diatomic molecules left panel is about systems having electron less than equal to 14 and the right one systems having electron greater than 14 so let's see porca is capable of obtaining these features so let's open the avogadro and draw a simple diatomic molecule let's start with n2 so from the element drop down menu choose nitrogen click on the draw panel click and drag and to obtain n2 convert the single bond to triple bond to do the act click at the center of this bond so now we got a double bond click once more a triple bond now use the navigation tool just to confirm whether you have a triple yes that's a triple bond now use auto optimization tool and try to optimize this at the molecular mechanics level so click on the start button yes very readily you got that optimized structure do remember to click on the stop button and now let's try to obtain uh, try to create input file for orca in order to obtain the molecular orbitals of the of this particular simple molecule so go to extension menu then orca option then generate orca input click on this do remember to give a proper comment so let's try molecular orbitals of n2 now let's do a geometry optimization so let's try to minimize this molecule optimize this molecule at the quantum mechanics level also use hartree fock method then let's choose a simple basis set STO three G. So you want to mimic a Slater type orbital by the help of three Gaussian functions. That's a contracted Gaussian type orbital. Now we need to provide some additional information. So at this moment, let's introduce a very important Google site. Go to Google. and type orca input library you'll find this particular site click on this google site you'll be directed to this particular page now this is very helpful in generating important input files so you can see on the left panel there is option called visualization and printing click on this they'll provide you a list of softwares which are helpful in visualizing some important output files no doubt they recommend chemcraft but chemcraft it is a paid software but second the list is avogadro which is also a good molecular builder and also a good visualizer so it can visualize orbitals densities through q q files also x y z coordinate and trajectory files if you go down you can see here general printing keywords by default the print setting is small print which provide informations regarding basis set scf settings which we saw in the last module then information regarding milken lodin and mayer population analysis but if you opt for normal print if you provide this particular keyword in the line which starts with exclamation then in addition to small print they'll also print lot in orbital analysis which is very useful to analyze the molecular orbitals so we'll choose this but in addition to this we'll also put 
some other important advanced settings look this advanced settings are often specified using the block input for different module block starts with a percentage and then the name of the block and it will end with the word end so if you put this this will provide some necessary information regarding basis set and molecular orbital coefficients so let's choose this particular block to copy this so this particular site is very helpful in generating the input files i'll go back to the regret row and paste that particular block at this particular position and now click on the generate and choose your desired folder so i've created a folder on my desktop that's directory test within that i made another directory n2 molecular vitals now let's give a name to the file so n2 das mo and now let's save this so we got input file open the command line and navigate to the desired directory so right now the present working directory is the same in which i have my input file let me check that type dir yes that's the same input file is available there so now using this input file run the orca job to type orca then space name of the input file space channel 2 space then the name of the output file change the extension name to dot out and then enter so blinking that means it's running properly so it will take few seconds to complete the job and once completed you'll get large number of files yes done let me check that to so type dir yes all those desired files are there the second one which is the most important one that's a binary file with extension name dot gbw and then let's analyze the output file with extension name dot out so go to that particular folder in my desktop that's test folder within that i have this into mo and then that's the output file so let me open this output file using notepad plus plus wait sorry yeah that's it okay so let's analyze that so since at present my target is informations regarding molecular vitals but before that we should we should analyze the input basis set which we have provided for this particular calculation and that if you remember that was sto 3d slater type with three gaussian primitive functions each contracted gaussian type orbital is made up of three primitive gaussian functions and the detailed information if you go down that's there so that's a detailed information about the basis set so let me now use let's change this uh, okay so here they say that's 10 contracted basis functions what do you mean by that now a slater type orbital the function looks like this some normalization constant x to power a y to power b z to power c and then e to e to, e to power minus zeta r yes they normally give feature very much similar to hydrogen type orbitals but they are computationally costly so we want to mimic this slater type orbital by the help of some gaussian functions so that is actually e to power minus zeta r square so that's a gaussian function primitive gaussian function and then we take summation of few primitive gaussian functions to obtain a contracted 
Gaussian type orbital. So if I take this total three functions, then we can say that it is a contracted Gaussian type orbital, which mimics a Slater type orbital. So we are getting a Slater type orbital by the help of three Gaussian functions having different data and different best normalizing constant rates. Right? So if A plus B plus C is equal to zero, then it is S type. If A plus B plus C is equal to one, then it's P type and so on. So every atomic orbital, for every atomic orbital, we have a contracted Gaussian type orbital. That's something called minimal basis set. So for nitrogen, we know that the configuration for nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So we require five atomic orbital, one 1s one and one 2s and three 2ps. So total five atomic orbitals. And for every atomic orbital, we have a contracted Gaussian type orbital. So five contracted Gaussian type orbital for every nitrogen. So for N2, it will be five into two, that is total 10 contracted basis functions. And now each contracted Gaussian type orbital is made up of three Gaussian functions. So total 10 into three, there will total 30 primitive Gaussian functions. And total number of shells, that is 1s, then second it is 2s, and then 2p. So every nitrogen has three subcells. So total two nitrogen will have six subcells. And each subcell is made up of three Gaussian functions. So six into three total 18. Angular momentum for S, the angular quantum number is one, sorry, zero. And for P it is one. So the highest angular momentum is one. So now using this particular basis set, we are going to create the molecular orbital. So now let's try to analyze the molecular orbitals. So if you go at the end of the file, you'll see that message orca terminated normally. So go upward, scroll upward. And now you'll see information regarding the orbital energies. So N2 total 14 electrons. So seven molecular orbitals will be filled. Now in orca, the numbering starts with zero. So if the number is zero, assume that is molecular orbital number one. So the sixth number in this case is actually molecular orbital number seven. Now the each, you can see that each molecular orbital is distributed over both the nitrogen atoms. So per nitrogen atoms, five atomic orbitals are utilized. That is five contracted Gaussian type orbitals are used. So for two nitrogen total, 10 contracted Gaussian type orbital. Few of them are S, few of them are P. Now the first molecular orbital, number zero is the first molecular orbital has maximum contribution from the 1S. So 1S of one nitrogen and the 1S of another nitrogen, the maximum coefficient there, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 there. And others are nearly zero there. The second molecular orbital, again has maximum contribution from the two one s but with the opposite symmetry. So minus 0.7, this is plus 0.7. The third one, which is number two, actually that's a third molecular vital. Again, the maximum contribution is from the other s. So that is in this case, the two s, 0.5, and then this 0.5. The less, others have least con contribution to this particular molecular vital. The fourth one, again, maximum contribution from these two, 2s, one with the negative sign, another one with the positive sign. There. And the rest one is from the p orbitals here. So mainly they're formed by the help of the p orbitals, not from the s orbitals. The contribution of s, you can see that nearly zero. So they are from the p orbitals. Now, look at the energy. So this you, can say that is sigma 1s, that is sigma star 1s, that is sigma 2s, then that is sigma star 2s. After that, you can see that energy, it's doubly degenerate. So fourth is actually molecular orbital number 
five, so fifth and sixth molecular vitals are have the same energy. So they are doubly degenerate, which has nothing but pi two p. The bonding pi molecular vitals, doubly degenerate bonding pi molecular vitals. Then the sigma two p. Then again pi star two p, the one with the positive energy. And that's the energy in actually in Hartree, that is the atomic unit, that is the pi star antibonding molecular vital, and then the sigma star 2p. Now let's get a proper view, visualization. So go to the Avogadro. Let's first close this, discard this, and then using the file menu, open. Go to desktop and then in the test folder, we have N2MO and then open this output file. Select this and open this. Okay, so right now on the right side, we have the complete information regarding the molecular vitals. So if I shift this, so these sevens are complete, seven molecular vitals are completely filled. One, two, three, no. So this is sigma 1s, that is sigma star 1s, but they start plotting from sigma 2s. Now sigma 2s is homo minus 4, sigma star 2s is homo minus 3. Then pi 2p, pi 2p, that's doubly degenerate, you can see they are the same energy. And then the highest occupied molecular vital will be sigma 2p. So let's click this. This is actually sigma 2s. Are we getting that feature sigma 2s? Yes, so sigma 2s, the same symmetry there. And then sigma star 2s, one node. Sigma star 2s, then pi 2p. You see that, pi 2p. Along one of the axis, this will be along the other axis, yes, pi 2p. So if that one is pi, 2px, another one is pi 2py. And then the highest occupied molecular vital is sigma 2pz. Yes, we are getting features similar to what we studied during our high school days there. And then the lowest unoccupied molecular vital, which is doubly degenerate. So lumo and lumo plus one is doubly degenerate, and you can see it from the energy also that the same energies. So that is nothing but pi star, yes, double dumbbell, pi star. And that's again pi star. So one, there are the different planes there. And then sigma star 2pz with, two, with three nodes there, one, two, and three. So that is sigma star 2p. So we are getting the similar feature there what was discussed in this particular theory class there. So that is sigma 2s, so that's sigma 2s, then sigma star 2s, this is sigma star 2s, and then the degenerate pi 2p, then the highest occupied molecular vital is sigma 2pz, the lowest unoccupied molecular vital again, W degenerate, that is lumo and lumo plus one. So you can see that lumo and lumo plus one, that's W D generated there. And the last one, which is sigma star, and that sigma star is this one. So it means that Orca is capable of generating, and Avogadro is capable of visualizing the molecular vitals. So we did that with the N2. Now your assignment is. Try this for O2, but remember O2 is triplet. That is, it has two unpaired electrons. So when you create the input file, be careful regarding what you assign the multiplicity. The multiplicity should be triplet when you create the input file and use the same information, use the ORCA input library to provide some additional information for generating the molecular vitals. So that's there in this particular 